order of operation, we will be following the Jamdash rule, G for the grouping, grouping symbol, E for exponent, and D for multiplication or division, um, as they appear from left to right, and addition or subtraction, again, as they appear from left to right. So, parang pagluluto lang ng isang menu or ng isang kutahe, dapat alam nyo kung ano yung uunahin yung gawin and then para maging maganda yung result or tama yung result nung maluluto nyo so it's like following a particular step so again una muna yung gagawin is check nyo muna meron ba tayong grouping symbols if there's an operation inside our parentheses or our bracket uh, yun muna yung una natin gagawin but of course, sa loob po nun pwedeng magkaroon ng exponent pwede pong magkaroon ng multiplication or division and also addition or subtraction and you will do it exponent muna kung merong exponent, pag wala you will proceed to MD or AS pero bago nyo magawa yung addition or subtraction dapat ma-eliminate muna natin yung multiplication or division so, itong nakikita nyo po dito, it's just like a step. Dapat munang mawala si grouping symbol bago natin gawin yung exponent na along the operation or along from left to right. And then, kailangan mawala, magawa muna natin itong exponent bago natin magawa si multiplication or division as they appear from left to right. And also, bago natin magawa yung addition and subtraction, dapat wala ng operation ni multiplication and division from left to right. Okay? So, let's have an example. Okay. So, as you can see, wala po tayong grouping symbol sa ating example. So, yun, sinadya ko po talaga yun. Um... So, wala tayong grouping symbol. So, we will be proceeding to E. At dahil wala rin naman pong E or exponent dun sa ating example, hindi na tayo dyan pupunta. Okay? Hindi na natin gagawin itong E kasi wala naman E. And then, we will now proceed for, to MD. Hindi pwedeng AS agad. Dapat magawa mo natin yung M or D. So, M or D as they appear from left to right. So, you will check from left to right anong operation yung mauuna. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-add agad si 14 and 18 dahil ang, ito ang ating division, ito ang ating multiplication. So, hindi naman sinabing dahil M yung nauna sa Jemdas rule, M muna yung gagawin. So, hindi po ganun. Again, as they appear from left to right. So, yung 14, 14 pa din. And then, plus, yung 18 divide 2. 18 divide 2 is 9. And then, let's proceed with yung times 18 and then minus 7. Okay? We already eliminated tung D. Which gives us 9. Ngayon, Nasa M or D pa rin tayo kasi meron pa rin tayong M. And this is our M. Kaya po, gagawin muna natin yung 18 times 9. Commutative naman po ang multiplication. So, let's compute. So, that will give us 162. So, yung 14 still 14 plus 162 minus 7. Okay? And then, we're done with M. So, wala tayong G, wala tayong E. Um, nasa MD tayo, tapos na yun. Ngayon, we are now on addition or subtraction. And again, as they appear from left to right. So, from left to right, meron tayong addition bago natin magkakaroon ng operation na subtraction. So, Addition muna tayo. We will be adding 162 with 14. That will give us 176 bago tayo ma-minus ng 7. And to get our final answer, isa ng operation na lang naman yan. So, that is 169. So, this is our answer.
Another example is 11 times 10 minus 12 divide 3. Wala tayo ulit. Uh, wala ulit tayong grouping symbol. Wala ulit tayong exponent. We will be doing multiplication or division as they appear from left to right. So, from left to right, meron tayong multiplication and division. And again, from left to right, nauna yung multiplication. So, we will be doing first our multiplication. So, 11 times 10 is 110. And then, let's copy first yung minus 12 divide 3. And this is our division. So, wala na tayong multiplication, but still, we are on this step. So, division naman yung gagawin natin. So, we will have 110 minus 12 divide 3 will give us 4. And, isang operation na lang, wala naman tayong addition, so we could direct do the subtraction. So, 110 minus 4, it will give us 106. Another example, but this time we already have our grouping symbol, which on this case, we only have a parenthesis. Wala tayong bracket. And we also have an E stands for exponent. Uh, but between the G and E, sa Jandos rule, mauna nga muna gawin yung letter G. So, G muna tayo. And dun sa ating example na to, ito yung ating G. And we have two operations, which is addition and subtraction. And we will just be following the MDAS rule. So, MDAS rule tayo. Multiplication or division as they appear from left to right. Addition or subtraction as they appear from left to right. But, as you can see, addition and subtraction lang yan. So, we will just be doing it from left to right. So, 9 plus 33 will give us 42. Ito muna. And then, we will be having minus 6. So, meron pa rin tayong grouping symbol. So, we cannot yet... Um, do our E kasi meron pa tayong G. Sa so, nasa G pa lang tayo. Wala pa tayo sa E. So, let's subtract. So, that is 36. And, pwede naman pong wala na yung ating parenthesis because wala na rin namang operation yung ating 36. Diba? 42 minus 6 will give us 36. And then, kopihin muna natin yung divide 6 minus 3 squared. Okay? We're done with letter G. We will proceed to letter E. So, wala natin grouping symbol, kaya titignan na natin kung may E. And, obviously, we have E, which is 3 squared. 3 squared means 3 times 3 po. Hindi po 3 times 2. Okay? That, which will give us 9. Dito nga yung susulat sa ating solution. So, we have 36 divide 6 minus 9. Okay, we're done with E. Wala na pong E. Let's check if we have M or D as they appear from left to right. And if you will observe from left to right, dalawa na lang naman yung operation natin, which is this. This is division and subtraction. So, hindi pa tayo pwede pumunta sa subtraction dahil meron pa tayong division. So, we will be dividing first this which will give us 6. 36 divided 6 is 6 and then tsaka natin gagawin yung minus 9. We're done with M or D as they appear from left to right. And we only have one operation. So, dito ko na lang isusulat yung final answer. 6 minus 9. And as you can see, mas malaki yung 9. Parang 6 pesos. La 6 pesos lang ang meron ka. But you need to pay 9 pesos. So, magkakaroon ka ng 3 pesos na utang. That's why our answer there is negative 3. Next is 10 plus 43 minus 5 will be divided by 6. Uh, and will be added by 5 squared. So, let's go back to our letter G. Meron tayong G. So, let's do first, again, from left to right. Meron tayong addition and subtraction inside the parenthesis operation. Um, we will do from left to right. So, we will start 
Kasi addition and subtraction lang naman ang ating operation. So, we will do it from left to right. So, we have 53 minus 5. Still, we have a parenthesis. Kasi may operation pa po sa loob. And then, 53 minus 5 will give us 48. And then, divide 6 plus 5 squared. Let's get first. We're done with letter G. And letter E na tayo. Which is, on here is 5 squared. 5 squared. Kung kalinang 3 squared ay 3 times 3. Ang 5 squared naman ay 5. Times 5 will give us 25. And... We're done with E. Check natin kung meron tayong multiplication or division. Parang kagaya lang yan nung kanina. Uh, meron tayong division and addition. So, yung D at saka yung A comparing mas mataas or mas mauuna na dapat gawin sa division. So, ito yon. So, dito ko na po isusulat which will give us 8. Okay, kasi 48 divide 6 will give us 8, and then yung plus 25. And since that is the last operation, tapos na tayo sa letter D, mag-add na tayo. Kanina kasi subtraction, no? Okay, so we have 33. So this is our final answer. Another example. So again, let's check if there's a G. So, grouping symbol first. So, we have 4. Ang una natin gagawin ay andito si ito. Itong nasa loob. And, compare, uh, may operation tayong multiplication. May subtraction tayo. Tapos, meron tayong exponent. And, um, kung titignan natin dito sa ating GEMDAS rule, based dun sa pagkakasunod-sunod niya, um, mauuna yung E kesa sa M at saka sa S. So, let's compute first our E which is 4 squared will give us 16 because that is 4 times 4. And then, we only now on our grouping symbol so, kopihin lang muna natin yung nasa labas ay M and S. And then, as you can see nandito yung M, andito yung S so, dapat gawin muna natin yung M. So, 12 times 6 will give us 72 and then minus 16 plus 9 and we still on G kasi may grouping symbol pa rin tayo so we have 4 times yung 72 minus 16 is 56 plus 9 okay and now, we're done with letter G. Wala na tayong letter E. Ang meron tayong operation is multiplication and addition. Tingnan nyo nga dyan. Ano bang mauuna? Yung M ba? Yung A? So, M muna. So, let's multiply. Um, 56 times 4. 6 times 4 will give us 4. 24. 224. Okay, and then plus 9. And then, since we only now have one operation, which is A or addition, so we will have 233. Okay, let's proceed. Again, we have our grouping symbol. So, yun muna yung gagawin natin. Sa ating unang grouping symbol is 19 minus 8, which is 11. And then, ito ulit, may grouping symbol tayo. So, 10 plus 4 will give us 14 plus 8 squared. The reason why may parenthesis pa rin to class ay, or may parenthesis po yan, ang operation po natin ay multiplication. Okay? We have a multiplication, addition, and exponent. And if you will check here, 
sa M, andito yung M, andito yung A, andito yung E. So, yung E muna ang una natin gagawin. So, we still have 11 times 14 plus E muna, which is 8 squared, 64. Okay. And then, we now have M and A lang. So, nandito yung M, nandito yung A. So, M muna yung gagawin natin. Excuse lang. So, we have 14, 14. So, 154 plus 64. And since we only have now one operation, yun na lang yung gagawin natin. That is 218. So, that is our answer.